possible 15 point question to what extent were Americans prosperous in the 1920s? Central to America's prosperity during the 1920s was the car industry. Under Ford, people were able to buy cars for the first time. Henry Ford famously said that you could buy the so-called Tin Lizzie in any colour as long as it was black. This was a tongue-in-cheek reference to the new mass production system that Ford used to make its cars. An assembly line was created where the same man did the same job every single day. This speeded up production and dramatically cut the price. This had a massive knock-on effect within the industries that sold plastic, leather, steel and rubber. Essentially, such huge amounts meant that jobs were created to deal with the demand. People were able to buy cars as they used credit to purchase them. People couldn't normally afford such huge sums of money, therefore they borrowed it to buy other goods such as radios and fridges. Many treated such credit as though it was some sort of money tree. They also used credit to buy and sell shares on the stock exchange. Shares in companies such as Ford dramatically increased within this period. People easily made huge sums of profit. Normally people did this by something called borrowing on the margin. This meant that people put down 10% of what they wanted to borrow as a deposit and bought shares with the rest. An example being being able to borrow $1,000 with only $100 as a deposit. This would later have dramatic consequences in the Wall Street crash. There is also a darker side to those who did not prosper. Firstly, farmers were unable to prosper as new machines produced far too many crops and consequently the price and therefore their profits went down. Many farmers were actually forced to sell their homes. Also, the traditional black workers also failed to prosper during this time as times were so difficult within agriculture. Overall and in summary, many areas of America did prosper during the 1920s and it was the success of the car industry that encouraged it. This success meant that it had knocking effects within other industries such as glass, steel and rubber. People also made money through the buying and selling of shares. However much of this, prop However, much of this prosperity was due to the fact that people borrowed money by using credit or borrowing on the margin. This would help to cause the Wall Street crash. Also, farmers and black people did not prosper during the 1920s as agriculture was doing so badly.